Hello and welcome to Locked In Stitches. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to turn these three pieces of um, fabric and I've got two pieces of vinyl and one piece of clear plastic there into a beautiful custom luggage tag that will help you identify your luggage whenever you travel. Um, one of the things I love about this project is the only other things that I need apart from of course my stabilizer and thread is an eyelet kit that we're going to use at the end of the stitch out. So let's come through and have a look how to create this fantastic project. So this project has six colorways to it and is a really quick stitch. First thing we're going to do is stitch the outline showing us where we are going to place our clear um, luggage tag opening. And I'm just using a piece of clear vinyl, which I generally buy in the roll and have sort of hanging around. Okay, and from there we're going to lay that over that outline and stitch colorway two to hold it down. Now, all of the measurements are of course in the instructions. along with colored photos of how to create this great project. Colorway three is gonna give us the outline of the final project so that we know where to place our vinyl. And I'm using this beautiful printed vinyl for my project. And I'm going to come through, lay that over, and then stitch colorway four, which is going to hold that down. Colorway 5 <coughs> is going to stitch through the vinyl, giving us a window as well as a place to cut so that we can go um, insert our luggage details. So we're now up to colorway six and to get to colorway six we need to turn the hoop over and I'm just going to very gently remove the stabilizer from inside of this area where our vinyl sits to save us the pain of doing it later. Now we can take our last piece of vinyl fabric, lay it over that outline and use just a little bit of painter's tape to hold that down and secure. Then we're going to return the hoop to the machine and stitch the final colorway. And once our stitching is finished, we'll come back to the area where we can start Putting it all together. 
So the first thing that I always do is just make sure everything is covered over on the back before I take it out of the hoop. That way, if you need to make any changes, you can do so. Then I want to remove all of the excess stabilizer. And that means just coming through and when necessary, trimming off any of those stray threads. Okay, so gonna get rid of all of those and then we are going to start our cutting in and prepping. So threads are gone, stabilizers gone. Next thing I'm gonna do is start to cut in. And what I need here is a scalpel and that initial box that we'd made, we need to cut through the top two layers, which is our vinyl, our printed vinyl and our clear vinyl. And you just want to get it started with the scalpel. You really want to make sure that you're not going through the back of the design. Once you get started, you can then come through and this is where it's important to have um, different tools and you can see that to get that started I'm using an owl, a scalpel and then I can use my large scissors to come through and finish that off. Now I can get all the way through and we're all good. The next thing I'm going to do is come and do that opening flap. And I only want to cut through the vinyl on this. I do not want in any way to cut through the clear plastic. So once I've started that off, I'm going to use my thick curved scissors and just trim on the inside. That is the magic word on this. It must be on the inside. Now that we've done that, I can come through with my regular scissors and trim the outside of the project once again to about one or two millimeters. What you don't want to do is nick any of that stitching. I'm loving how this is coming together. Okay, once that is done, we are up to the eyelet kit and for that I need my little craft hammer and I need to find the center point of my luggage tag and then I'm going to use the eyelet maker and bash a hole. I can then take my eyelet maker, my um, metal piece, turn it over, two parts of the eyelet, place them together and then the eyelet is complete. Our bag tag is now secure and you can see it perfectly holds a business card size details part. You can fill that in however you want. It is firmly in there. It's not going to go anywhere and it's going to make sure that you know exactly which bag is yours. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Until next time, have a stitching day.